Hey guys, what about Amy Obi here? Um, we're gonna play a very interesting course here, and by in interesting, it's more the concept of it and how this came about. So, this is Christopher McDonald's dream course. You might be wondering, who the hell is Christopher McDonald? Well, he's the guy that played Shooter McGavin in the movie Happy Gilmore, and he's been heavily involved in uh, 2K23 right from pre-launch. So, Victor Victory Lane Sports was asked to create. Christopher McDonald's dream course and he said sure I can do that now to properly credit the designers here we need to uh, make mention and Victor has been very clear about this and he in all of his uh, promotional materials and everything of this he's been very very clear to say this he got a massive assist from Mayday Golf 83 um, and so this is probably as much Mayday's course as it is Victor's uh, and then you know Christopher as well so uh it's very cool when you see friends in the design community that are able to help each other and Mayday did this not knowing what it was he just kind of got some very rough you know kind of I can't really tell you what this is for but here's what I need and he's like okay cool and they've created this so looking forward to this looking forward to see what we got here um there's definitely this is this is not the Victor I'm used to seeing. There's a lot of eye candy going on here. Uh, it is eight thousand yards. For whatever reason, to, fi, um, Tony Finau and Chris McDonald both want ridiculously long golf courses. So, let's go. I wonder if this is another course where Victor would say, you know what? Um, we'd be better off playing at a tee up. 8,000 yards is a bit silly. He said that about Finau Fresh. We're going way uphill. Okay. Mayday was a lot of the eye candy. All right. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, there's some really cool looking stuff around this place already. And, I mean, with Safe Haven, we, uh, we know Mayday's not averse to creating an uh, amazing environment, so... Not surprising that uh, Victor would help pick him to help him with that part of it. Uh, did I just hammer that? I did. Huh. Learned a lot, or leaned a lot in the Arctic. Yeah, I can see some Arctic Fury here too. And I, I know... I, I don't know if, about Mayday, but I know Victor is, is quite an Arctic Fury fan. Um, so if this is like Arctic Fury type stuff with, with good golf, we're in for a treat. Uh, nitpick, the way that cart path comes back out. Eh, not a massive fan of that, but I'll get over it pretty quickly. No. With that. Hard to really say much about my lie there because I'm about 40 yards farther back than I should have been <laughs> with the tee shot. Oh, I suck sometimes. By sometimes, I mean a lot. Slippery putt there that we managed to sneak in the side door. Yeah, yeah, you can see that you can see a lot of the Arctic Fury kind of ideas here for sure. Like, a lot of elevation, a lot of, yeah. Let's not hit it down there. I wonder if that's OB down there. It's not. Okay, let's not hit it there. Even if it was OB, we still wouldn't want to. Uh, I might have been a bit ambitious in thinking I might be able to roll it down that hill. Although, hang on. Mm. Well, this is going to be a fun lie. <laughs> That's OB short. Okay. So this stuff's OB. What a really, what a cool view from here, though. 
Uh, ooh, downhill that much? Uh, let's just hit this and see what happens. I mean, we're already better off than we were with Fina Fresh because we made it through a couple holes without crashing, so that's good. Whatever issue was causing that has seems to be gone. Greens are 145. Jeez, that's stuttery. I don't know what's going on lately. He went out of his comfort zone? Yeah, I could see that. Game has been stuttery as hell lately. I don't know why. Ah, it's not high enough. Hmm. Well, let's just say the greens aren't flat. Yeah, we're going to be just seeing a lot of 500 yard plus par fours for sure. On an 8,000 yard course. Uh oh. Hit a rock and go straight right. Oh. Or just go straight right. That works too. Beautiful. I think um, one of the things with this course is if you if you find a flat lie in a fairway, you get 100 bucks. I think that's one of the rules here. <laughs> Yikes. Slowed it. Nope. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this view here is really cool. I think, and I think uphill holes as a whole look better just because you can see everything, right? When it's downhill, you, I mean, a lot of times downhill you can't see everything, whereas here you can. This is really amazing looking. Narrow as hell here again. But maybe a bit, I mean, maybe it just looks narrow than it actually plays. I, I do that a lot. Oh, waterfalls. Wow, that's so uphill. No. I was too busy thinking about how uphill it was. I forgot to swing the club. <laughs> oh, that's a deep bunker. Jeez. But see here, so going back to that trail ducker course, here's nine feet. I think it accomplishes a lot of the same stuff. It's not as, as, but it's not as extreme. Like it doesn't, like it's still not easy. That's, that's what I mean. I wonder if, yeah, I don't know. That's cool that I saw that right away though. Next course, where I was like, yeah, well, that's what nine feet looks like. Okay. Oh, no. Everything goes left. I hit left a lot. This is not good. Um, Let's hit driver up here, then. Well, if I tried to cut it, I would probably end up it would start left, it wouldn't come back. That's why I didn't do that. All right. Um, hmm. Take a lot wedge. Uh, I got lucky. I didn't I didn't pick the wind. I just I never I never pick the wind. Whatever the wind is is whatever the wind is. That's a lot of water. Hmm. Yeah, I was never fasting that. Although I could have flown it anyway, so it didn't really matter. I didn't need to. I didn't need to go against it. I didn't need to chicken out. 
Very cool again, though. Just... The look of this place is quite cool. Tempo that I have is quite not cool. Stutter, stutter, stutter. There's a lot going on visually here, so not overly surprising that she might struggle with it a little bit. Hello, Miniobi. Hey, look, it's the star, the co star of Miniobi and Dad play golf. You're tired? Yes. Oh, yeah. Also, half my head is cut off. Half your head is cut off? There's days I'd like all of your heads to be cut off. <laughs> um, okay. No. Because I said so. Hear it. It's not. That's what you can have. 110 feet down. Better golfer just showed up. Yeah. It's not hard to be better than me. Um. Let's try hitting this. Yeah. And I, I still got it wrong. Um, one thing to keep in mind, uh, especially for those watching on YouTube, there are going to be some situations like this where, you know, would Victor him or Mayday themselves make a 210 yard, 110 foot yard downhill par three? Probably not. So there'll be some times where the Christopher McDonald was like, I want this. And so they created it. Um, when they maybe wouldn't have if it was their own creation. Yeah. And as as Seb just said in, ch in chat there, you're going to have that at times. So, it, I, these playthroughs I find a little tricky at times because I don't know... Because I don't, I don't know what was asked for all the time, right? And it's possibly... And so in some ways you're, you're kind of going, okay, well, how well did they do giving him what he wanted? I don't know, because I don't know what he wanted. I like the idea of it being overcast. Um, I think sun here wouldn't fit this. I think the lighting is really well selected. Damn it. Fast. Damn. Don't, don't, no, don't, no, no. <sighs> and then am I in light rough? Of course I am. All right. But I mean, it's a very, very cool thing that they're having a professional, like a PGA Tour player, an actor, um, in the last game they had whatever Nate shot is YouTube star. I don't know. Um, but they're having these guys reaching out to 2k who are then reaching out to next makers and saying, here's a course that, you know, we want, here's a project we want to take on. And they're able to do that. And it's just a really, really cool thing. Influencer. Well, influence this. Uh Oh, this hole just got really long. Because I'm also quite confident that neither Mayday nor Victor would choose an 8,000 8, yards as a distance for a golf course. But that's probably a Christopher McDonald request. Oh, oh, don't, don't scob it.
bunkering looks really nice here. Hmm. What, do I try and draw it into there? Why not? Don't come back. Thank you. Yeah, that's very cool. Nice little... Well, gee. How hard did I hit that? I was going to say nice little par 4, but good God. What did I do there? Uh... Okay. We're having a small issue here. I've lost my pace. I've lost the pace of the greens. I am unable to play at any kind of reasonable level now. Oh, big stutter. All right. Uh, I think I need to be in the fairway here. As much as I, you know what, screw it. I want to hit driver down there and see what happens. It looked like it might be fun to roll it down this hill some. Mm. It did not, it did not go as I had hoped. Oh my god, a perfect flop? Who is this man? Oh, he left it short anyways. Easy. I'm... Uh, some things don't change. Give me a wedge. Rather than a putter. Alright, what are we doing here? Oh. Blind tee shot. It works. How much is this downhill lie going to affect this? We'll find out. Um, why is it that with wedges I fast the ever living hell out of them? It wasn't there anyways, but why is that? I, just, I don't understand why it does it. Hey, Ruby. I don't understand why that happens so often. Yeah, the views are amazing. Oh, yeah. If, it, if, you, if you were to land on the fairway, that would be great. You're not gonna. But it's still gonna be fine. I think when I hit three wood here, it's going off the back of the green. Three iron is not getting there. So three wood it is. Over the green she goes. You're trying to be too precise? Hmm. I just don't understand why I fast it so, like, I just always fast it, though. That's the part I don't understand. Q. 
Switch it back up. Make a putt. It'd be tough to get anywhere near that pin in two, because um, everything runs away, so. Making bird that way is, is a way to go. Oh, please. Please. No! No, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna pout for about five minutes now. Forget about the fact that it would be murder trying to get down here. This would be so much fun to be in bounds. Um I don't know that this is really a play I wanna make. Hang on. Oops. It's a really cool angle, but good God. It looks tough. Here's the problem though, Scoot. If I miss it, I'm OB. The driver's, and, and I'm, with my club set, driver's too much. Three wood, meh. If I hit driver over here, oh geez. Uh, all right, well, I'll try and hit three it over here then. Um, scoot a word. See, just in case you weren't paying attention, I landed that on the middle of the fairway. And, or uh, yeah, on the middle of the fairway, and I'm now deep in the rough. With an awful lie. Where I've got to clear something that's OB. This is no chance. Left hard. The left fairway is not that hard to hit, mm, is it not? That's okay. We slashed our way to a par. Yeah, I hear you. But you said the fairway was easy to hit. I disagree. I hit a good shot, not in the fairway. I'm saying. Hit it better? How the hell am I, how was I supposed to hit it any better? Oh dear. Okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> you know how I feel about internal out of bounds? Especially when it's a beach. Yeah, fair. How do you get around the court? You swim. Um, we're, it, it, this is, this is a, you know, dream course. It's not a, this is a super amazing, realistic course. <laughs> this is an actor saying, it'd be really cool if we made a course like this. Um, good God. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Jers... Jersequa? 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 I don't know. Something like that. Thanks for follow. Hope you're enjoying. Um, jeez. There's no, like, some room would be handy.
I had to not up here and hit it, just hit a shot. Is it a lake? I believe it's a lake. Yes, it's a big lake. It's lake, let me think, lake beaches are out of bounds. It's a big lake. Shooter Lake. Yeah, it could be Shooter Lake. That's a better one, Scoot. Too many tides? Not too many tides in lakes. Uh, well, depends on the lake. Because the Great Lakes have big waves. But I get your I get your I get what you're saying here. This isn't a big lake. Or it's not a great lake, I mean. Oh my god, did that ever stutter? I mean, that stuttered bad enough that I um that I that I almost couldn't hit that putt. Ah, uh, hang on. I know. We're putting a tree. No, no. All right. Well, I'm going for the green. I'm now. I'm going for the green out of spite. Is long. Oh, it is. All right. That is definitely a mania retaining wall. Oh yeah, that's a mayday retaining wall, all right. Putts to pin two from that upper shelf. Yeah, well, we're playing pin two. Um, hmm. Uh, I can't bounce it off the, uh, hmm, let's see. Big cut coming. It's not cutting. Uh-oh. Oh! No! Uh-oh! No, I am not hitting it near that tree. Not a chance. Okay. Cut. It's not cutting. It's okay this time though. Oh, or no, no. Oh. <sighs> oh, I don't have my tin cup anymore. Damn it. All right. Give me my driver. All right, that's not going left. Okay. Yeah, it's OB. It's OB in here because my ball, like, so I know why they've done that because otherwise I would have been, like, I was inside of this. So the ball shouldn't, there's no way the ball should be staying there anyways. But you can't play from there. So I, I totally understand it being OB. Anyways. Uh, okay, let's keep this on the green, can we? Oh, sublime. Well, 
We we had we had a small oopsie at the end there. We had a small oopsie at the end. Alrighty, um, that's a lot of fun. It's just it's again it's very very cool that these kinds of projects are getting created. Uh, interesting name, clickbait. <laughs> it's very very cool though, very cool. Um, I wish that celebrities would stop asking for 8,000 yard golf courses because I think that it was a bit much. But you know what? It didn't play that badly. So like as far as the, the length wasn't that oppressive. So it, I think it, it kind of worked. Um, again, remember that, you know, Mayday and Victor created this course based on what was requested by the actor in, in this situation. So there are some things out here that if you don't agree with it, it's probably because that's what the actor asked for and that's what they created, right? So it, it's, this isn't really a reflection on the design strategy of Mayday and Victor. It's more, how good of a job did they creating, did they do creating Christopher McDonald's vision? And there's one person who knows that and that's Christopher McDonald. So by all accounts, everybody's happy with this. I think it's really, really cool that we have these as official courses. Um, I hope it happens again. I would love for more PJ Tour players or actors or other such celebrities to, to get on board with this kind of stuff. I just think it's a very, very cool um, way to potentially create that connection between the golf community and, and overall community. I think it's I think it's a really neat thing. Uh, I had fun playing it too. Like I enjoyed that. I think the Arctic Fury presence absolutely made it a fantastic job of getting the eye candy going here. I thought it played well. I think it's a really cool course. Um, really, really cool to have that as an official course. For those watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Hit like, let me know you want to see more. Hit subscribe. Or sorry, hit like, tell me that you want, you liked what you saw. Hit subscribe, tell me you want to see more. Leave a comment, tell me what you, what you think about this. We'll have some uh, more World Cup of Design playthroughs from TTC Tours coming soon. For now, we'll say see ya.